In this video, we're gonna run through how you can create some basic calculations on your WordPress website using Ninja Forms. This is perfect for creating quote forms or any kind of form where you need to calculate a price or number uh, for people submitting information on your website. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm logged into WordPress and all we need to do essentially to get started, before we actually go into a form, which I've started here, this website quote form, we just need to go into Ninja Forms and settings here on the left. Now, once you're in your settings, you just need to scroll down and you need to make sure you have form builder dev mode ticked. And if not, simply tick it and save those settings and then head back to your forms, which is on your dashboard. So the dev mode allows us to add certain values to some of the options that we're working with. So I'm gonna open up this quote form. And we've got just some basic fields here, nothing too serious. I'm just gonna run over essentially how it works. So I've actually got this form if I tab across here, so we can actually refresh and see what we're looking at. And uh, I'm essentially ready to go. Now the first thing that we do wanna do is essentially we just wanna create a simple, we'll give some, give some options to people. We're gonna to go to plus. I'm gonna add a radio list in there. Let me scroll down and just move this radio list up. We're going to remove the message and we have our options here. So this, the idea behind this is I'm just sort of creating a test web design quote. So I'm gonna click on radio list here. Where's this radio list? I'm gonna say, what kind of website are you after? And just do something basic like that. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna say basic one page website. And we're gonna say small business five page website. And we're gonna go e-commerce website. So we've got an e-commerce website, a small business five page website and a basic one page website. Now, what I can do is I can give these different values. For example, I'm gonna say basic one, small five, and e -com. And you wanna make sure there's no spaces, you wanna make sure it's unique, uh, lowercase, so everything's just sort of, it's like one small string, one small word to use. Now let's say we're working on a basic one page website package, and let's say we charge $1,500 for that website, and $2,500 for a small page site, and $4,000 for an e-commerce site. This is gonna be our starting point. We're gonna tick this as $1,500, I'm gonna click done. So now we've got the initial first step. But what happens if we wanna add a few things to this? What we're gonna do is uh, essentially add in another, this time I'm gonna go into a checkbox list. And we're gonna move that up. Similar thing, do you require the following? I'm gonna get rid of one of these, I'm gonna say, domain name, and then here we're just gonna type in domain and host it. Keeping in mind this is just an example, and hosting. And we're gonna say, we're gonna leave those unticked for now, but let's say a domain name, let's say we charge $50, and then for hosting, let's say we charge $500. We're gonna keep these figures pretty basic. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click done, and we've got something to start with for now. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to, I believe it's under advanced, and calculations. And I'm gonna create a calculation based off uh, what we have there. So I'm gonna go add new. We've got a variable name, we're gonna call it uh, starting cost. And what we can do here is we can go to this little box here where the equation is, and we get an option of what we can actually grab. So on the form here, I can click form, and you can see here I've got uh, a few, I've got the fields table, I've got fields, I should say, not under form, so fields. I've got radio list, what kind of website are you after? And I can add plus checkbox list. And I click done. And that's our first calculation. I'm gonna publish that. Um, and we're gonna get back to the form for a minute, show you something basic. One thing we can do, let's say we're gonna go, okay, maybe they want more than five pages, but not quite an e-commerce site. So what we can actually do now is go plus, we can come up with, say, a number. 
and we're going to move this number up. And we can say here additional pages or something like this. It doesn't make sense necessarily for a few things. Um, additional pages and we can say minimum is one, maximum is whatever. And we can go just like that. Now let's say we add, charge a hundred dollars a page. We go back to advanced to our calculations. If we get our starting cost here. We're going to create a new variable up here and we're going to call it extra pages. We go to our little box over here to choose under fields, the number, additional pages, and we're going to go asterisk for multiply. Maybe we charge $100 per page. So here we got our starting cost, which is what kind of website plus what we require is in like domain and hosting extra pages. We have the number of pages times 100. So each page is worth $100 We click done. And we head back to our form again. And maybe this time I can do the same thing again, just for the sake of the video. I won't keep adding and adding and adding. We'll try and get to this pretty quick. Um, but we're going to say add in some other extras like, uh, you can, once again, you can see how the radio list works. We add in a value. We can go into select as for something different. So how will you manage this website? So I will run it myself, in which case we add zero cost. And I'll say run myself here. And then on top of that, we can say uh, basic monthly updates or something like that. So basic month, and maybe we charge $300 a month for that. We put weekly updates. So it's called it's weekly. This is not necessarily based on any form of reality as to what I would actually charge, but <laughs> you can see here, We've got a drop down here for updates. So how will you manage the website? Now, once again, I'm going to go up to advance to our calculations and we're going to add that in. So we're going to add in and we're just going to set, call this one updates. Click on the box here. And then we're going to go to, we've got fields. We've got how will you manage this website? So the select field. And we're just going to pop that in there like that. Now, if we want to add all of these costs together, we've got starting cost, extra pages and updates, which I'm just going to, get rid of the capital on. It's easy to keep things lowercase and it's nice and clean. I click add new. This time I say total cost. So what I can do now is go up here again, but this time under calculations, I can add the start, I can have the starting cost plus, and I can add checkbox. Sorry, back step, back step for a sec, back calculations, extra pages, plus, and I can go plus calculations, updates. So we're adding these three calculations together. And I'm gonna do one more thing just to be on the safe side here. We're gonna go back to our form. And we're gonna add a little radio box here, radio list, just for the sake of subtracting. So we'll move this up and go, so maybe it's like, are you a charity? We say, yes, so yes, charity, no, and no charity. I'm gonna add in here negative Oh, not negative, let's just say 200 and we'll add a zero here. We'll delete this and we're going to go done and we get back into advanced and calculations. So sort of back and forth thing a bit here, but you sort of get the idea of how it works. And then I can actually have negative to take away. I can go here to calculations, sorry, to fields, are you a charity? And done. Okay, so we've got a calculation pretty much ready to go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to display this on the form and I'm also going to make it so it is emailed to us when we submit. So I'm actually going to go to emails and actions and where it says email notification. I could do the same here on a confirmation if you're wondering how to do this. 
we can go select on that. And I, will, I usually recommend going in here, going under form and just having, having an all fields table. That's entirely up to you how you set that up. But uh, one, one thing you can do if you want to get that in there is simply, whoops, go here and we go total cost. We go to our forms area here and we can go to calculations, total cost. And that will display in the email. But we can test this even easier by going in. Let's say we add in here, we've got a HTML section just here. I'm going to drag that up. And all I'm going to do is and say cost, click on this button here, calculations, total cost, done. And now I can even go in and duplicate this. I'll actually add it in a couple of times in the form and I'm going to publish. So now when I tab across and refresh this page, we have our quote test ready to go. So what happens is we got our, uh, so the cost at the moment is 1500, you can see here, it's also showing up there. If I change this to a small page website, it goes two and a half thousand, or an e-commerce is 4,000. Let's say we've got a five page website with three additional pages, 2,800, I do need a domain name, I do need hosting. You can see the cost changing here, 3,350, say basic monthly updates. Obviously, this is covering some kind of initial costs. So, I mean, like I said, this isn't a great example in real life, but you get the idea of how this works. Are you a charity? Yes. And it knocks 200 off the price. So that's how you can make basic calculations uh, with a form using Ninja Forms. So if you actually were doing a uh, quote, you can actually separate the updates field if you wanted to and have initial cost, monthly cost, uh, and set things up that way. You can expand upon what I've done to create a far more detailed uh, quote form. And the good news is you don't even necessarily have to display it here publicly. You can email it to a customer or even just email it to yourself, review the details and make any changes if you find there's something there after a small discussion um, that you want to change. So I hope that sort of uh, makes sense. It's just a quick and easy way to show you how to get started with calculations on a Ninja form. Um, so I hope that uh, you found that useful. And if you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again next time and have a great day.